So I just want to make a point about propaganda, especially in the British media, though I can imagine it's identical wherever you are in the world, Europe, America, Australia, Africa, wherever you are. I'm sure it's the same. So any intelligent person, when he opens the newspaper, opens the news website, and he sees a story and it says, woman, no, mother, 24, named Alicia Smith, died because she uh, refused to take the the, the jibber-jabber, and um, she's dead now, and her father tells the public, take the jibby-jab. And then you scroll down, same newspaper, you're like, oh, and it goes, healthy 41-year-old weightlifter, and it shows this big strapping man with a beard almost as good as mine. It goes, big strapping weightlifter, was a conspiracy theorist, didn't believe in it, and now he's dead from the coof. And like, for your average peon, for your average uh, normie, who um, is a water-headed and uh, isn't capable of critical thinking, the news will be terrifying. Oh my god, look, 24-year-olds are dying. 41-year-old weightlifters are dying. I better run out and get the booster. How many boosters are you on? It's come out today in the British press that 90% uh, of current COVID hospitalizations have not had the top up. So, for those, you know, my viewers are clever people. You guys know when you read the newspaper and it shows you two dead people. They're really grasping at straws. You know, when they can literally show you the face, the name, and write a story about how much this individual was a conspiracy theorist, then... Wow. Wow. I mean, I'll tell you what would convince me. If you show me um, a, math, uh, a mass grave with 5,000 young people dead in a mass grave because the disease in question killed them, then I'll, uh, I'll go, oh, 5,000, that's a lot of people in that grave. But showing one individual or two individuals every other day? I paid attention in maths class or as the Americans would say, in math class. It's a plural. It comes from the Greek mathematics. It's maths, not math. 